A man only drank this fruit juice for a week. This is what happened to his kidneys. The protagonist of this story is a 65-year-old, a father of two, and a diabetes patient. I will call him UL from now on. UL never had any issues with his kidneys before, but today he was being hospitalized because he could barely make any urine at all anymore. UL is accompanied by his son and now they're waiting for a doctor to see him. Why are you wearing those sweatpants, Dad? asked his son. Because my regular trousers wouldn't fit anymore, tried to answer UL. But they were called in, so he wasn't able to complete the sentence. The doctor finally came. UL was immediately asked if he drank alcohol or if he was taking any pain medication. UL said that the only medications he was taking were those for his diabetes and his ulcer. But the doctor knew that something was very wrong with UL kidneys. He knew this as soon as he entered the room. UL breath was smelling very bad like ammonia. The swollen legs and the fact that he complained about not making urine were enough for the doctor to order immediate blood analysis and to start UL on dialysis. After a few hours, UL creatinine levels confirm what the ER doctor already knew. UL kidneys were not working anymore. But how is it possible that the man with no previous skin issues ended up on dialysis after drinking a normal fruit juice for just a week? Catherine here. Welcome today to a new story from the emergency room. This is the story of a man that lost his kidney function completely and in just a week. The reason? Fruit juice. Now, this is no work of fiction. Everything we will see today is based on a case report published the 28th of December 2023 in a peer-reviewed medical journal. This all happened in a very similar way to what I will show you. If you are suffering from kidney problems or diabetes, the food you eat can be the most powerful medicine and your best ally in fighting the disease. But in some cases, what you eat can also worsen or even cause diseases. Just usually not in seven days. It's common to hear about people that ruin their health by eating too much junk food and too little fruit and veggies, but the damage usually happens over a lifetime, not in a week. And this is what makes today's report so incredible. Today we will find out exactly how drinking regular fruit juice can be one of the fastest ways possible to destroy the kidneys. But this is not the only reason why this story is going to be interesting. You see, what today's case report will show you is that certain fat diets are better left to internet influencers. Let's see more about UL case now. After being started on dialysis, UL was finally stabilized. The doctors were now able to take a proper medical history from him. So they started asking him questions. UL, is there anything I should know? Asked the doctor. Your kidneys are not well. Are you taking medications? Do you drink? No, I am a man of routine, answered UL. I take my metformin and glipizide rigorously, and I always keep my sugar levels in check. It was true. He was neither an alcoholic nor a smoker and had no family history of kidney disease. He had never had any issues with his kidneys before. However, he was also suffering from a stomach ulcer and that was a pretty serious issue. Just two days prior, UL had left another hospital where he had been treated for this stomach ulcer. The issue was so serious that it had caused him to vomit blood. He had been stable when he left, but the ordeal had left him weak. This is when the results of UL blood analysis came back. 
The ER doctor at this point was starting to be very confused. According to UL tests, his creatinine levels were very high, 5.43 mg per dl, but that was expected since the patient was now on dialysis. Proteinuria was also present and that is an indication that there was something damaging the kidneys. Maybe it's oxalate formations, thought the doctor. But no, because UL oxalate levels were in the normal range. How could a man lose all of his kidney function in just 7 days with no signs of toxicity or stone formations in the kidneys? This case is becoming interesting, thought the ER doctor. Okay guys, looks like we are facing a true medical mystery today. So this patient was firstly hospitalized a week ago for a problem that has nothing to do with the kidneys. His kidneys were actually perfectly fine back then, which is almost unusual for someone his age and suffering from diabetes. Now the patient is being treated for an ulcer. But while this treatment goes well, just one week after this first hospitalization, his kidneys fail completely. How is this even possible? Well, let's find out. I bet the ER doctor will want to talk to the patient now. UL, he asked. Is there anything out of the ordinary they gave you at the other hospital? Mm, well, there is the diet I'm following, answered UL. Now, as it turned out, when UL was admitted to the first hospital one week ago, the doctors kept him nil per us for one day. Just one because they needed to perform an endoscopy. Nil per os is a medical term that means nothing by mouth. It's often used in situations where a patient is about to undergo a procedure that requires an empty stomach such as endoscopy. The endoscopy revealed a gastric ulcer that was treated with proton pump inhibitors. However, after the endoscopy, the doctors recommended UL to follow a semi-solid diet for 48 hours. Make sure you are eating very light, they told him. But UL wasn't sure that the very light diet was enough for his situation. So he decided to dig deeper and he found out about an influencer recommending people with gastric ulcer to follow a very strange diet. After being questioned for a while, UL finally revealed his secret. For the last week, starting just after the endoscopy, he decided to follow a just only diet. You see, UL was somehow convinced that drinking only pomegranate juice without added sugar, obviously, was the cure for his ulcer. No food whatsoever, just the juice. However, as soon as he started this diet, his kidney function started to deteriorate. In just a few days, he went from healthy kidneys to dialysis. But how is this even possible? There must have been a medical explanation for what was happening. People just don't go from healthy kidneys to dialysis in one week. Is the pomegranate juice the cause of his huge amount of kidney damage? Well, there is only one way to find out, said the ER doctor. A renal biopsy will tell us. So, what we are seeing here is exactly what destroyed UL kidneys. In a renal biopsy, a small piece of kidney is removed and examined under a microscope. And what the doctors found in UL kidneys was so remarkable, they actually wrote and published an article about it. So what are we looking at? Now the structure we see here is a tubule, all right? This is very small. It is part of the nephron, the filtering unit of the kidneys. If too many of these tubules stop working because they are damaged, the kidney will stop working also. And this is exactly how a damaged tubule would look like. If we zoom in, we can see that there is a structure inside the tubule which looks like a diamond or a crystal. A calcium oxalate crystal, to be exact. There are two of them in this picture, where the arrows are pointing at. Now, around the crystals, we can also see that the kidney cells are being destroyed. Wait, now you may ask, 
But you said that UL didn't have oxalate in his urine. How is this possible? How is it possible that a man with no history of kidney stones and no oxalate in his urine completely lost his kidney function due to calcium oxalate crystals? Well, to answer this question, the doctors decided to take a look at what UL was eating, and he wasn't eating anything at all containing oxalate. Actually, some sources support the theory that drinking pomegranate juice may even help with kidney stones. You see, kidney stones are formed when there is too much oxalate being filtered through the kidneys. The kidneys need to bind this oxalate to calcium, and this process may form kidney stones or, like in UL case, tiny crystals. But where is this oxalate coming from then? In your diet, foods such as vegetables, nuts, and grains are probably the biggest source of oxalates. But Huel wasn't eating any fruit or nuts. He wasn't actually eating anything at all. He was just drinking pomegranate juice, and that juice doesn't contain oxalate. So what's happening? Well, there is actually something inside this pomegranate juice that could have damaged his kidneys. Something that is not oxalate, but that actually turns into oxalate inside the body. Here's what the published case report says about this. Many reports describe oxalate nephropathy after the administration of vitamin supplements or citrus juice. The source of vitamin C in our patient was pomegranate juice. Oh, it looks like the very unusual diet UL was following is the cause of his kidney damage. In fact, as this paper points out, excess vitamin C inside the body is partly converted into oxalate, and this was the cause of the serious kidney damage UL experience. Now, a very important question. Are vitamin C rich foods dangerous for people with kidney issues? We know today that people suffering from chronic kidney disease and those at risk for kidney stones should be careful with vitamin C supplements, alright? Vitamin C supplements are a known cause of kidney stones, but UL wasn't taking any supplements. Is the vitamin C from foods dangerous too? Well, you see, it's not the food itself the problem. It's following dangerous fat diets, just a juice-only diet. You see, while drinking just a bit of pomegranate juice may actually help people suffering from kidney stones, drinking too much of it or just it may be very dangerous. First of all, because of all the vitamin C this juice contains. You see, it is usually recommended to avoid taking more than 100 mg a day of vitamin C. This is especially important for kidney disease or diabetes patients. Okay guys, it's almost time to see if UL was eventually able to save his kidneys. Before that, there is a very important lesson to learn from his serious mistake. The lesson here is that following crazy fat diets always comes with risks. And this juice-only diet is not the only diet that presents a hidden danger, especially if you are suffering from conditions such as diabetes or kidney disease. Following the wrong diet can be very harmful. This is why I always discourage people from following potentially harmful diets such as keto diets or paleo diets or carnivore diets. We have seen in the past how kidney disease sufferers tragically lost their lives just because they were following a keto diet. The 27-year-old Indian actress passed away in 2020 just because she decided to treat her kidney disease with a keto diet. And she is the most famous case, but she is not the only one, unfortunately. Completely removing essential parts from your diet always comes with hidden dangers. Don't take this risk. Now guys, the diet you all was following was just as crazy as the keto diet. Because you see, it's not the amount of vitamin C in the fruit juice that destroyed his kidneys. It's the lack of any other food in his diet. And as we can see here, UL was drinking almost 1 liter or 34 ounces of juice per day, which is about 450 milligrams of vitamin C per day. Now guys, this is not a very high amount of vitamin C. Many people take even 4 times that vitamin C per day without problems and for way longer than a week. The researchers that published the case report believe that the reason why UL had this problem were his age and his diabetes status. Both these conditions are risk factors for calcium oxalate crystal formation. 
And they also point out that as his kidney function decreased, the amount of oxygen produced increased, which is something kidney disease patients must keep in mind. I also want to add that a diet that doesn't contain any calcium in it, like the diet UL was following, is also going to increase the risk for calcium oxalate formation. This is why I always recommend to consult a doctor and a dietitian before making any significant changes to your diet. Okay guys, do you want to see how it ends? Let's see if UL was eventually able to make it home safe. After his hospitalization, UL was started on dialysis. You see, UL never had chronic kidney disease and by completely stopping what was causing damage to his kidneys, there is hope for him to get enough kidney function back. UL was also instructed about his condition and started an Oxalobacter formigens capsules twice daily. Now, this is very interesting for people suffering from kidney stones. Oxalobacter formigens is a relatively new treatment for kidney stones that's very promising. This is actually a bacterium, all right? It's a bit like a probiotic. When this bacterium colonizes the gastrointestinal tract, it can actually degrade oxalate even before it reaches the kidneys. This will in turn reduce the risk for kidney stones in the future. Yes, an incredibly advanced treatment and a study suggests that this treatment may reduce the risk for kidney stones by a hoping 70%. So I bet that this will help you all in the future. Remember that this case report is from just one year ago. But was you all able to gain back enough kidney function to avoid dialysis then? After two weeks on dialysis in the hospital, UL gained back a little bit of kidney function. But when he left the hospital, his kidney function was still too low for him to be dialysis free. But he was recovering. And I want to believe that eventually his kidneys recovered at the point that he is now able to control his CKD with a renal diet. Who knows, maybe he is watching me right now. Now guys, I'm glad I talked about oxalate and the risk connected with because as we have seen, some kidney patients should actually limit their intake of this substance. So if you want to learn more about how to protect your kidneys from oxalate, this video up here is for you. Or if you want to watch another story from the emergency room, watch this video. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye.